Hi there. Well, it's basically officially February. And as usual, we got some more events that start from the age of exploration up to 1630. Now, starting off in 1539, in February 1st, Emperor Carol and King Francois the First, or Francis the First, sign the Anti-English Treaty, or a treaty against England itself. In that time, this happens quite a bit between the kingdoms who, depending on the different circumstances, situations, and monarchs, the kingdoms of Europe tend to ally themselves against one another. In 1587, Elizabeth I of England signs the warrant of execution of Mary Queen of Scots. And February 2nd, 1494, Columbus begins the practice of using Indians as slaves. Practice that should not be brought up again unless it's to remind people we're not to own others as property no matter what their skin color is. In 1536, Pedro de Mendoza founds Argentine city of Buenos Aires. In 1542, Portuguese under Custaro da Gama, or de Gama capture a Muslim occupied hill fort in Ethiopia. The Battle of Ba Sente, or Bad Sente. And in 1550, Edward Seymour, Duke of Somerset, is freed from captivity. In 1571, all eight members of the Jesuit mission in Virginia are murdered by Indians who pretended to be their friends. This happens a number of times, sometimes it goes unrecorded. Other times, the documents are probably burned somewhere. Or just not been put into history textbooks because they're either too much or too graphic. Or just too gritty. Or they just don't care. And in 1626, Charles I is crowned as King of England. And fierce internal struggles between the monarchy and parliament characterized 17th century English politics. They basically butt heads multiple times throughout English history. And in February 3rd, which is 1509, the Battle of Diu, a naval battle at this port in India between Portugal and the Ottoman Empire, establishes Portuguese trading control. And in 1576, Henry of Navarre, the future Henry IV, escapes from Paris. In 1591, German monarchy forms the Protestant Union of Targau. Moving on to February 4th, 1508, the proclamation of Trent is made and signed which entails Maximilian I, assumes imperial title without being crowned by a pope, which is new during this era. He was either a bishop or archbishop or the pope himself who crowns a king, or in this case, the Holy One Empire. The pope is to, throughout history until this moment, in 1508, crowns the Holy One Emperor. And in 1586, Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, or Leicester, becomes the governor of the States General of the United Provinces, which is the Netherlands. And in 1600, astronomers Tycho Brahe and Johannes Kepler meet for the first time near Prague. 
and then Lord Prague. And 15 and 1620, Prince Bethlen Gabor of Hungary signed the peace with the Holy Roman Emperor Ferdinand II. And February 5th, in 1512, French troops under Gaston de Fal or Fal rescues Boulogne. And in 15, or Bologna, in 1556, Henry, or Kings Henry II of France and Philip of Spain signed the truce of Versailles. And in 1572, beggars assault oyster rich Nith and drives the nuns out. And in 1592, a group of early Japanese Christians, known as the 26 Martyrs, are killed by the new government of Japan for being seen as a threat to Japanese society. And in 1631, a ship from Bristol, the Leon, arrives with provisions for the Massachusetts Bay Colony. And Rhode Island is founder Roger Williams arrives in Boston from England. And in February 6, 1508, Maximilian I is proclaimed Holy Roman Emperor. As it was stated in the proclamation of Trent, it is the first time this has ever happened. And in 1577, King Henry de Bourbon, or Bourbon, of Navarre becomes leader of the Huguenots. And in 1626, Huguenot rebels and the French sign the Peace of La Rochelle. And moving on to February 7th, 1522, Treaty of Brussels, Habsburgers, the Habsburg dynasty splits into what is the Spanish and the Austrian Habsburgs. There are two, now two, Habsburg branches. In 1550, Giovanni Maria del Monte is elected Pope Julius III, or Julius III, or also be pronounced Julius III. In 1569, King Philip II forms the Inquisition within South America. And in 1613, Mikhail Romanov, aged 16, becomes the Tsar of Russia. And February 8, 1526, a heavy storm strikes Dutch coast. Many die as a result of the storm. And in 1575, the University of Leiden is founded and given the motto pronounces Presidium Libertis or Libertas. And in 1587, Mary, Queen of Scots, is executed by beheading at Fotheringhay Castle at age 44 after being convicted of plotting assassinate Queen Elizabeth I. The, in the Babington plot to usurp Elizabeth. And in 1600, the Vatican convicts, convicts scholar Giordano Bruno to death. And some of the, these figures come up with enlightened ideas or certain ideas kind of Attract unwanted attention from the church who deemed this heresy. And in 1601, Earl Robert Durval, or Durval of Essex armies draws into London. And in 1622, King James I disbands the English Parliament. And in 1627, gunpowder is used in a mining operation instead of mechanical tools in 
area of Slovakia for the first time is the first time explosives are used in any mining operation. Oh, well, that's it for now. You have a good one. Bye.